Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt, this is A Better Computer, and today I wanna to look at 10 more widgets that are great on iOS 14. This is actually my second video about widgets on iOS 14. I think they're really great. Uh, if you wanna check out the first video, that'll be in the description. And then today I wanted to cover some apps that you may not have heard of. So I think that's enough buildup. Let's just get into it. You know how widgets work. If you don't, watch the first video, but let's jump in. So the first app we're gonna look at is an app called Eventually. I just found out about this app and it's really cool. So it lets you keep track of holidays and birthdays really easily. And so it shows you this in this nice widget. So I can see I have Jane Doe's birthday and John Smith's birthday this week. If I go into it, I can see those at the top and then I have some other birthdays coming up. And if you don't want to see this week, maybe you want something else, just hold down on the widget, edit it, and then you can choose to see the next month or the next year. So you can see whatever you'd like there, which is really nice. The widget right next to that is an app called Lumi. And so this is an app for photographers generally that lets you see when the golden hour is wherever you are. And so we can open the app and see uh, where the sun is, when the evening golden hour is, sunset, daylight, all this stuff that photographers wanna know. And so the widget lets you see that right on your home screen at any point. Music Harbor is a great app for keeping track of artists that you like, being able to see when they have new releases coming out, and if they've released anything recently, what they released. And so the widget lets you see either of those. So I have this one set up to show me albums that are coming out soon. And so I have Sufjan Stevens, I've got Surfer Blood, I've got uh, Mountain Goats and stuff here. So some cool stuff coming out soon. You can, of course, just tap on any of them and go right to it in Music Harbor. And so that's really nice. There's larger sizes, smaller ones as well. You can choose whether you wanna see recent releases or upcoming releases. So there's a lot of power in Music Harbor. Glimpse is an interesting app that lets you show a specific portion of a website as a widget. So for example, I've got the Washington Post here. The Washington Post does not have a widget for themselves set up yet. But what I've been able to do in Glimpse is be able to set up the Washington Post index page to show up on my home screen. And so it's not perfect. You can kind of see it gets cropped pretty easily and you don't have a ton of space to work with. But if there's some portions of a website that you wanna see, you can decide where on the page you wanna show something. So if you have like a stat page where you always have a number at the same spot, you could have that show up in a widget on your home screen. And there's also a smaller size if you want that. Todoist has some really powerful widgets, and this is an app that you certainly have heard of <laughs> more than the other ones probably, but Todoist has a way to see uh, today's tasks in the widget. It lets you hit that plus button up there to quickly go in and create a new task, which is nice. And then if I look down here at the second widget, I can see my progress towards my goals. So am I gonna get five tasks done today, 25 for the week? You can see those update. And if I go th through there, mark that complete, you can see these update in real time. It's very quick to sync up, which is nice. Zero is an app that lets you track fasting. So if you fast, you can use Zero to track how far along you are, how often you do it, all that good stuff. And the widget does exactly what you'd want it to do. It looks nice and shows you a timer showing you how long you've been on your current fast. So I'm only 45 minutes into this one. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to 16 hours, but uh, if you do do that, uh, this is a great way to keep tabs on that without having to open the app and see where you are. Then we have Spark. Spark is a great email and calendar app for the iPhone. And this widget doesn't show you all of what you can do with Spark. So this shows you, I have 13 messages from people, 36 in my news and 13 just notifications in my Spark inbox. But if I actually go to the widget page to go create it, you'll see all the options you have here. So this is the one I'm using, the new emails one. But then there's an email list where I can see recent emails with a total and then a button to uh, compose a new message. I have that but bigger for the bigger option. I have my recent messages plus some actions. So being able to search, go to the calendar, look at my files and compose a new message. And then there's calendar ones. So if you want to just look at your calendar stuff, you can do all of that uh, with multiple sizes, multiple views, really powerful. I really like this one actually, emails and calendar lets you see your inbox and your next event all in one place, which is really powerful. Dark Noise is by far my favorite white noise app on the iPhone, and I made a separate video about it. You should go check out that to see what they recently added. But the widgets are fantastic and are what you'd want. So you can make small, medium, or large ones, and then all of them basically just have shortcuts to your favorite white noise items. And so you can tap on them, the noise will start playing immediately, which is fantastic, exactly what you want when you just want some white noise quickly. K 
Curio is next, and this is an app for keeping track of the news in one concise location. And so the widget has three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and will show you some recent stories, and you can tap on it to go in and listen to whatever stories you'd like. Now, what if an app doesn't do exactly what you want? Maybe you want to build your own, and Widgetsmith gives you some tools to build custom widgets. So when you launch the app, you can see small, medium, and large widgets. And if I go into medium, let's say, it'll say, okay, here's the default widget. And then I can tap into it again and then see styling for it. I can decide how I want the time to show. Uh, maybe I want to do something else. Maybe I want a photo to show up, a custom text or just a blank spot to show up. I can have my calendar, reminders, the weather. The weather is a premium feature. You have to pay for that, but weather is there. There's health data, activity stuff, uh, tides, is there. <laughs> There's all sorts of things that you can throw in these. And then you have total control over the font used for it, the tint for the text, and then the background color. So you can change all of those uh, with tons and tons and tons of options. So you can customize those however you want. And then they also have this option for a timed widget. So you can move this around and play around to add, add another one for that time period, add another one for that time period. And now you can have different widgets for different times throughout the day. So you can put the widget on your screen once, and then throughout the day, at whatever times you select, it will change it automatically for you. So if you want your to-do list in the morning, but you want the weather in the middle of the day and then something else at night, you can do that. And you can be as robust, as elaborate as you want, or you could be simple. It's really up to you, but you can customize widgets pretty significantly with Widgetsmith. So that's it. There's a lot of apps with widgets coming out. There's more coming out every day. These are 10 more that I thought were really interesting, really exciting, and I think you might enjoy. Most of them are free as well, so you can go ahead and try them out with very little risk. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this will be the last one about widgets for a while, I promise. But uh, if you have any other apps that you think people would enjoy that have great widgets, throw it in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, uh, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. So thank you so much for watching.